As a huge data fan, I was excited about dynamic markdown documents newly available in Stata 15. I played with the feature over the last few days and was able to produce a decent looking markdown documents using Stata. However, the overall experience of producing markdown documents in Stata falls short of the experience one gets in RStudio using R Markdown. Here are some of the reasons. Number one, Stata's markdown documents are not not fully integrated into Stata's development environment. Here's how the Stata Markdown document looks. It is a mixture of text and code as one would expect. I typed it in a Stata's do file editor. If I want to execute the document, I can't just push a button here to execute. I have to go into Stata's command line, type in din doc function name of the file and execute it that way. This is doable, but it's can be inconvenient, especially when troubleshooting the code. More importantly, Stata's do file editor is not built to handle these DIN doc documents. It treats everything as Stata code. This is good for the code part of the markdown document, but decidedly bad for the text part. It does not have spell check. It does not even recognize the DIN doc tags, so it doesn't help you close those tags. This is in contrast to our markdown and our, in our studio where you can tell what's text, what's uh, code, you can use a spell check, you get help closing parentheses, closing tags. Number three, some of the DIN doc tags are clumsy. For example, to uh, include a code chunk, you need two lines. To close a chunk, you need two lines. That's different from R, where you just need one line. If you want to include an image, you need two code chunks. So one to produce the image, one to include the image in the document. Number four, DINDOC does not produce PDF. There's a separate command called put PDF, but amazingly it uses a completely different markup language than DINDOC. This is in contrast to our markdown where you have a lot of flexibility how you output your markdown document. Number five, DINDOC does not support LaTeX, BibTeX, or even Outreg. This will be a deal breaker for many users. Outrec is a popular tool for displaying regression results uh, in Stata, but because it generates a separate file, I was not able to include it in the DIN doc. I used an alternative, as stout. Latex users should probably check out TechDoc before trying out DIN doc. Number six, DIN doc does not support publishing HTML documents to the web. Again, in our markdown, in our studio, you are only one push of a button away from having your work on the web. Number seven, Dindoc does not support uh, code folding. It does not support the uh, table of contents. This is mostly aesthetic, but uh, producing slick looking HTML documents seems easier in uh, RStudio and R Markdown than in Stata. In conclusion, Dendoc is a tiny step in the right direction for Stata, but much more needs to be done to be even in the neighborhood of the flexibility, capability, and ease of use of R Markdown.